to Gibraltar, owned by the British since 1713. It's about as far south in Spain as you can go. Cats wait for buses here. There's beautiful scenery. It's just a really great place. The town is really cool, too. But if you're only going to be going there for a day, I definitely suggest taking the tour where they'll take you up to see Britain's Monkey Army, which has been able to be on vacation since World War II when they hid their troops in the expanded uh, siege tunnels that lay under the rock of Gibraltar. That's where they also keep their potable water that's been desalinated uh, for the whole town. Now, you have to watch your stuff because they are tricky. This one stole some crackers out of my bag, um, and they were really good crackers, too. I was about as mad as this monkey looked. Um, He opened it up. I'm just glad he didn't throw any of my camera equipment on the ground uh, besides the tripod. Uh, Just nothing broke, which is the important thing, and I didn't get bit, which I guess is also very important. I met a lot of nice people on this tour. Most of them were from Britain, and I met a nice lady uh, that was originally from Morocco at a bar uh, that I talked to for quite quite a while before I left the city. She was able to give me some cool information, like Fifteen to 25,000 Spaniards go to Gibraltar every day, um, commute just uh, for work. Now, it is a pretty expensive place, and they give money in pounds and euros, which makes things a little bit confusing because some places only accept pounds. Now, unless you have uh, some really good courage, You won't want to get too close where the monkeys can jump on your head like this girl. But she is very brave. I don't think I would have been able to handle that. One thing is you don't want to raise your arms uh, because they could find that as threatening and then bite you. Then you'll really wish you had insurance. But just a great place to go. Thanks for watching.